Hello, my beautiful Aquarians! Welcome to your weekly reading, Weekly Energies. This is for the third week in May, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. And your good karma is here, my darlings. What to expect after all you've been through? Many of you know that this week we are moving from Taurus season to Gemini season. Uh, much flatter and easygoing energy as well. It's an air energy as yours. But also, we have at the end of the week, on the 23rd, a full moon in the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is actually the opposite zodiac sign of Gemini. But at the same time, Jupiter is the planet of Sagittarius which speaks about expand. Big energies are going to happen. And yeah, manifest big loves, but also at the same time, purge, release big. Let's see, darlings. What the good karma, what good energies are on the way after you've been through. As well, general energies might be yours might not be. We have a five of cups underneath. We have a ten of swords, ten of wands, eight of swords, and strength. I feel here whatever you've gone through mature you. It's quite a rhyme, but it seems here for, for some of you, you are keeping walking into the dark. I feel here for some of you might think like looking back now, like you feel like, wow, did I really gone through that? Did I really walk through that? You did, loves. You did. I have the Leo energy of strength. It's you. You definitely needed to, to grow up. You definitely needed to go through something. Probably not as hard because I feel here for some of you, you learn a lesson the hard way. There's a lot of swords, wands, and the cups, but whatever here you've gone through, it's kind of even, even you work through it, even you overcome it, you still don't understand why you're supposed to go through that or why you. I also hear that you had a soul contract and whatever here you've gone through, you could not avoid it. You needed to go through. It's like when you go through fire, when you go through hell, you got to keep going. You'll get to heaven kind of a thing. Because look at here, all after the dark, the, the strength energy is very light, very bright. Let's see what this is about, darlings. I'm also hearing there's something here about your, your ideas, your creativity, your work. Because I feel here you, you find yourself misunderstood. Ace of Pentacles. The Sun. The Fool. And Two of Pentacles. Wow. So good karma, it's here, loves, because you definitely overcome something. However, I see you a little doubting. Is this truly a new beginning? Is this truly the gift of uh, a new beginning? It's like you rise about the ashes like a phoenix. I do have a lot of um, energy of Leo. For some of you, you could have very strong Leo in your chart. And Leo, it's all about creativity. Leo, the lion, is the, is the king of a jungle. It's a leader. So for some of you, just because you were, it's kind of like took, took your crown away, doesn't mean you are less than what you was. However, something here ended into your life or expired. There's some kind of expiration date. Something here needed to go for something to start. This is like a rebirth of you. What's the two of pentacles here? 
Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So what I'm feeling here, there's still a hold back on a past energy that felt kind of secure, or at least you thought was secure. But Spirit says, no, my darling, whatever you are going, it's nothing like that security. It's much better. So if you want something or if you manifest the real deal, the real thing, the real good opportunity, you got to look bigger, see bigger, think out of the box. Okay. There is definitely here some kind of a big transitory energy, but it seems here that who you used to identify before, you cannot identify from now on. I also feel here for some of you, yeah, wherever you go, look at this. It's a beautiful energy. But what I'm feeling here, if you could identify somehow in this way, now it's a whole different other way. I'll give you an example. For some of you, if you went to med school and you used to identify yourself as a doctor, as a, um, as a healer, now you start a new career and let's say you are in finances or you are in banking, whatever it is, which now you are in a whole different path. So you cannot identify like you used to before. You are not a doctor. You are not a healer anymore. You are on a whole new path. And this is supposed to happen. You overcome a karmic energy. That what you're supposed to do. And that ended. It's kind of you start something even in a past life. You end it. However, you could not understand why when I'm in midlife or mid let's say mid 40s mid 50s i got to start from the scratch in the beginning and still kind of this day am i doing the right thing but the energy of whatever you are right now it's so light so bright so easy it's kind of come so easy is because the path you're supposed to go through and that's the good karma here because you overcome the past life karma for giving you a new one, which is a good one, a vibrant one. And Ace of Pentacles speaks like a gift from the universe, a rebirth energy for you, a new journey for you given. Don't even look back. Because what you're going, it's amazing. Let's see here was the sun here. Because sun, it's, you know, it's the happiest card in the deck. I don't even want to go back to the, the Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords. and Because Ten of Swords is definitely you invest your energy in something that only caused you unhappiness. Eight of Swords felt like a victim. There's a lot of things here that you, you left behind. Whew. For some of you, you could have been through a lot of therapy here as well to understand that those things needed to be left behind. The sun energy is the chariot energy, is the ace of swords energy. Clearly, you got to look just forward. You go to the forward move, not the rear view. You're not going that way, darlings. There's nothing left behind you. For some of you, could have gone through a tower moment, but clarifying the sun with the chariot. Wow, I, I can't believe. Like for some of you, you literally could move to a different place. I have moving on a physical level here. For others of you, this movement is it's something here that will go very fast very straightforward for some of you you could even if you change the career you could work from whatever in the world you want because fool speaks like i work when i want whatever i want sun it's just kind of it's a pleasure always 
it's a new day it's a new thing always and always it's something out there to go for clearly clearly wow it's kind of speechless because somebody here is kind of like whatever they gone through and whatever they are not going now it's it's kind of feels like two different people two different worlds so yeah just because you you overcome that and you got stronger for whatever journey you're supposed to go you needed to get stronger you needed to grow up even though it feels here the sun as a childish energy is like you you go from a point of strength not a weakness you the point of growth is not like you you gotta grow mature but it's kind of your your mental strength your value I feel here I'm I also hearing critical thinking Let's see the advice for you from Spirit. King of Swords. Clarity. To get clarity. Being clear. For what you want and what you don't. And also is to not accept less than what you deserve. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also compare for what you thought it's stable. This new beginning, it's a whole different stability or a whole different stable you. And you feel like you can create stability from different other points. I also hear this is like a matrix, like a web, like something here, like from all over the place. I, I can create stability you know, like an origami or like a puzzle. It's like I can have an income from different streams. Or I can build more than one thing. Or I, I understood here to not settle down for just one thing, but to build more around this. So now it's a... Um, it's another view of stability and about growth and expansion. With the Empress here, it's kind of there's there's multiple ways to grow and expand. Abundance is is different than what I thought in the first place. And yeah, you don't need to hold on on something that is old due. For some of you, this is a, a family karma that you overcome here. And it seems here you, you've done it. You've done it. You heal it. You moved on. There's something here that was, yeah, you realize that it's no way just to get over it, to move it over away from it. it you could not go in the loop you needed to cut the loop you need to cut the cord you need to pull the plug to get in the place where you need to so yeah so yeah Aquarius that's quite an energy here for you but Congrats, you got through it. And if this helps you, if this resonates with you, let us know. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.